Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Carl. Welcome back to the bathroom. That means it's time for a shave. It's Monday evening, so we're going to have the uh, Monday night shave. I've got, uh, let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, is that four days worth of growth. Back to work tomorrow, so i got to get rid of this so the bosses don't yell at me. And I am excited today for this shave because I'm going to be using for the very first time a soap by my good friend and YouTuber, soap maker, all around great guy, Monty Lindholm. He sent me a selection of his soaps, and tonight I'm going to be using the um, the Black Asa Spirit. And this is a uh, black pepper, basil, and lime. Fantastic scent. Signature Monty Lindholm style, uh, wrapped in paper, tied with twine. Got the Swedish flag on the back, and uh, I ran out. We've got a little Tupperware to keep it in from the good old KFC. Now, this is a fantastic scent. If you live here in the States and you are interested in obtaining some of Mati's wares, uh, he also makes handmade brushes, uh, several different flavors of soaps. You can purchase those um, online via Mary and the Barbarian's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. That way you can contact Marion and get your own Monty Lindholm shaving supply stuff. All right, so let's get this open. Like I said, this smells friggin' fantastic. I can't wait to use it. So it's double wrapped, decorative black tissue paper, and then a standard kind of wax paper here. Uh, this smells great. It's got such a strong basil scent. It reminds me of when I go eat pho and they give you that big sprig of basil. You put that in the soup. Oh, it's delicious. All right, it's a great, it's a soft puck, not very hard. So I'm just gonna kind of mash it into the container. Hopefully it won't jockey around too much when I'm trying to lather. All right, so enough about the amazing soap, although can't say too much. For the razor, we'll be using the uh, classic Samurai Chevette, Chevette. Loaded with a uh, first use, use Permasharp blade. And then for the brush, we'll be using the good old whoa, Wet Shave Club Bore Brush. Handle slick. All right, so and I can see from the soaking water, I did not rinse it very well after the last use. So let me rinse that out real quick because I don't want any Arco contaminating Monty's. Fantastic soap. So we're just going to gather a little bit in the brush. I'm fresh out of the shower, so hopefully my beard is pretty well hydrated. I'm going to go ahead and rinse and uh, re-wet that after I gather some soap on the brush. So hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing really good, um, especially now that I'm getting to try one of Mati's soaps. I've been excited for this for about the past week. I just did a lot of a utilitarian shave last week, so I didn't film it. But I have been excited to uh, to use this soap and the other ones he sent me. All right, so I've gathered some. Hopefully that's enough. I didn't do a great job. The uh, the pucks rolled around quite a bit in the dish. I could probably pull the puck out and gather the rest of that, which I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. We'll start thick and add water. I don't know how uh, much water his soap can take. And I, hopefully I don't have a reaction because if I do, I'm in big trouble because I just put a ton of soap on my face. Oh, it's a great scent. The basil kind of dies out a little bit. As you um, as you lather it, and then you start getting more of the pepper and the citrus notes. And once again, that lime also reminds me very much of going to the pho house because they always give you the side of lime to go with your pho. So it seems to be lathering very well.
nice rich leather. Fantastic scent, it doesn't dissipate, so it stays pretty well on the face. Add a little bit more water. Fantastic. All right, so I am feeling a slight tingle around the lips. I don't know if that's an allergic type reaction or just the uh, the spice, the pepper, and the soap. So we shall see. I don't feel it anywhere else. So all right, let's uh, see. So yeah, had a. Uh, Everything's going really well. Had a good day off today. Did my meal prep, got up this morning early, went for a one mile ruck, got to get back in shape. Not only to lose, to help lose some of this weight that I've put back on, but like I can feel it like physically, like I am not in as good of health and conditioning as I was this time last year. Um, you know, walking upstairs is a little tougher. All those things that happen when you become deconditioned, you know, get a little winded more easy, easily, and things like that. So I definitely need to start getting back into the exercise routines and the diet routines. You know, like I've mentioned before, I've already gotten put back on a few medicines, most of them, um, which I'll probably won't be able to get off of again, and that's okay. As long as I don't have to get back on the higher dose of blood pressure medicine or cholesterol medicine, I'll be happy. Speaking of happy, very happy with the shave so far. The soap is slick. The razor is gliding and the blade is definitely doing its job. Still have a great basil and lime kind of scent. Yeah, it's definitely a nice slick soap so far. Took a fair amount of water. Gave me a nice rich lather. Spot on, Mr. Monty. This is a good soap. You have proven to be a very skilled novice soap maker. Well done. Not that I'm an expert by any means in anything, but uh, I know what I like and I know what feels good. and. So far, I like this and it feels good. And it smells good. Did spend a little time watching some YouTube today. Caught up on a couple of videos from uh, so Kurt over at Solid Shaves. He did a really fun Tribute to a gold member. He did a gold member shave. It was fun to watch. He seems to really enjoy those uh, those movie themed shaves. He does a good job with them. I enjoy watching them. And like I said, did all my meal prep. Did my ruck. Had a great weekend. Spent some time with my beautiful lady friend, and uh, she cooked dinner for me. So, I mean, she cooked dinner for me Friday night, and spent the day together Saturday. 
got a nice uh, dinner on Saturday. She cooked for me again. The weather was cruddy, so we stayed in. And she made these amazing spinach and um, like cheese stuffed pinwheel steaks with sauteed vegetables. A little dessert afterwards. Very nice, very nice. She is a an amazing woman. And she puts up with me, so she's a saint. All right, also what is amazing, this is the first pass. So, the very smooth first pass. Nice, seems like some nice residual slickness in the soap. Yeah, that's a good soap. Still a lot of nice scent on the on the brush. The soap kind of seemed to hold up well. The lather, I should say, seemed to hold up well between passes. It's a little thinner now, but I think that's just because I put a splash of water on my face. But you don't need quite so much shave or, or lather for the second passes anyway. So here we go. Across the grain. Big annual test at work coming up next week. A lot of changes in the uh, standing orders for the ambulance crews. I haven't worked on an ambulance since 2014 and I still have to take that test every year. It's kind of frustrating. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't studied very much. So I am a little more nervous about it this year than I ever have been. It's just I've been so far removed from the ambulance and the stuff that they do on the ambulance. For so long it has become theory to me more than practice. Like there is equipment and drugs and medications and processes and procedures skills that I've never seen or used before so I feel very much like when I was in school learning stuff for the very first time when it's all theory and no practice even though you know I would I feel like I was a A pretty decent provider. During my days on the ambulance, I was very confident in my skills and abilities. Nowadays, not so much, I think. If I ever had to work on an ambulance again, I would be lost, just like a brand new paramedic. All right, fantastic second pass. I still have a little bit of lather in the brush. I am going to go back to the dish just to scoop out a little bit, just to refresh. So. I didn't have to go back to the puck, so that's a good thing. Getting a little more tingles on the neck. Uh, once again, not sure if that's an allergic reaction or if that's just a little bit of irritation. Those Permasharp blades irritate me just a touch. So, no itching. We'll see how, the, how I look and feel after I rinse off for the final pass. Got a chance to make some YouTube content today. I made a, a hot sauce review. I 
also took a little bit of time and put one in the can for next week as well. That way, I'm one hot sauce review ahead. That way next week if I want to go fishing or I get a chance to go fishing, I can stay fishing all day. And I know I don't have to put that kind of content out. I mean, it's not like it's my job, but. I really want to get back to regular content days, not missing content. So, you know, a couple videos a week. If people watch them, cool. If not, no big deal. I still am enjoying making them. So, you know, shave videos once or twice a week, hot sauce videos once a week. Um, tackle box. Fishing related stuff maybe once a week, once every other week. So just some type of content on a regular basis is my goal. Alright, that's the shave. Let me get rinsed off. So after the rinse, I don't feel any irritation, no nicks and cuts that I can see, no weepers. Still have, uh, my face still feels moist and hydrated. We'll see what the alum says. I'm pretty sure I got a little irritation on the common spots, but I don't feel like there's any irritation from the soap. irritation on the neck from the razor burn or not well I guess razor burn is the right word for it but I don't have any redness or splotching or anything that looks like hives so I don't think I'm I had any type of allergic reaction I think the tingling on the lips and uh, at the beginning was from the pepper and uh, tingling on the neck is razor burn because I'm out of shape, or out of practice, I should say, with the uh, razor, I'm gonna shave it. But got a nice shave with it, so I'm happy. Fantastic shave with the uh, Not Too Home Supply, Shaving Supply, Black Asha Soap. Very good, beautiful performance, beautiful scent. Um, no allergic reaction to speak of, so that's always a bonus. Mati, thanks again for sending that to me. It was a, um, an amazing gift. You truly are a, a skilled craftsman and a gentleman. Like I said, for someone who's new to making soaps, that's a pretty that's a that's a pretty decent first try at a soap. Um, so, yes, thank you very much. Like I said, if you are interested in getting a hold of some of Mati's soaps. I'll put the link to Marion the Barbarian's channel. He is Mati's U.S. distributor for the soaps. I'm going to finish off with just a little bit of witch hazel because I don't want to rob myself too much of the amazing scent that is still lingering just a touch. Throw. Beautiful shave. Thank you guys and girls for spending a little bit of time with me this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making the video. It's a fantastic shave. Once again, thank you, Monty. And that's all I've got. So no matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it is very important. Thank you for all your support. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night and a great week. God bless you guys.